I must commend you. I don't think that we've ever had a political party on Facebook. Um, Facebook is the way now to reach a lot of the generations, the younger generation mostly. I have to tell you, I do follow your page and okay. anytime there's a statement there, there's at least like 50 comments. So you have a huge following, okay. virtual as well. So question, do you really answer those Facebook posts? Yes, yes, um, I get help too. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I dictate the, the, um, the answers for people, for people to put them on. I couldn't imagine that you're doing it. I'm, I'm sure they come to you and yeah, you yeah. answer them. I do that. They come and I, I, I tell them what I've been doing for the day. So I get some help. I'm sure you need a lot of help <laughs> in your position. I mean, it's, I, I can't imagine one person yeah. running an entire country. So I'm sure you have a lot of help. And, you know, thank everyone who's backing you on that. So our next viewer, their question was, how do you intend to build a stronger relationship with the United States? Well, I, the, the, the question said a stronger relationship. We do have a very strong relationship with the United States. Um, we have interest in having a very good relationship with the United States. The United States is the most developed country in the world, and it is within our hemisphere as well. It is one of our largest trading partners. And therefore, we have every reason to want to have a very good relationship with the United States. Apart from that, the world has so many problems now that it is hard for one country to solve them. And it will need international cooperation. And the help of the United States in working with, jointly with many of these issues is very important. Um, let's take, for instance, the drug trafficking. It has now become recognized as a, as a world problem. And it is also now recognized that one country cannot deal with it alone. Um, in our hemisphere, to fight that, it is very important to get the cooperation of the United States in fighting um, issues of drug because they have a lot of experience and they have a lot of resources um, in doing that. We have have uh, been working, our units have been working very hard to, to fight and control these as well. And with that kind of cooperation, not only with the United States, but with the Caribbean, I think there's a need for a big cooperation for us to make an, in, an, an impact on the drug trade in our, in, our, in our region as a whole. I know you were traveling a lot back and forth to the States. I've actually met you a few times. Were you able to meet with any United States politicians while you were there? Yes, while I was there, um, I think it was the last time that I was there, I did um, have a meeting in the State Department with some officials related to the Caribbean. Um, and, you know, so I did have that meeting. Um, I meet probably other, other level of politicians in New York and other areas like that. I know sometimes some Guyanese have been fighting for offices there too, so <laughs> you could call them uh, call them politicians as well, some of them who I need. <laughs> All right, our next viewer says, Mr. President, on November 4th, 2011, the New York Times published an article recently about the impact a direct road link between Georgetown and Brazil. Here's a direct quote from that article. A proposal to build a road through Guyana's jungles to its coast has stalled because of fears that Brazil could overwhelm its small neighbor with migration and trade. Do you have any apprehensions about the impact of the road to Brazil? And if so, what steps are you taking to protect the identity of Guyana? I, I think the, the, the paper, that article is not correct. It's not a, it's not a true picture of what is happening. Okay. Uh, we, 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 our road hasn't been stalled because of any fear that Brazilians will overwhelm our country. Apart from that, I have no fear of Brazilians. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, that they're very hard-working people, and they work very hard. And I have no problems with Brazilians coming to Guyana. As long as they respect our laws, as long as they're here legally, I have no problems with, with, with Brazilians. I would like 
I would not like to, and I do not like when I hear Guyanese abroad are treated in a bad way. And you know the old saying, do unto others as you have them do unto you. Of course. And, um, and I have no intention of treating Brazilians as long as, they, as long as they respect our laws and work within our laws, we will work with them. I suspect we have as much Guyanese in Brazil as we have Brazilians in, in Guyana. Um, as far as the road is concerned, I would love to have the road finished today to link with Brazil because Brazil is, has just, in the news, you know, it has just replaced the United Kingdom and it is now the sixth largest economy in the world. Yes. Our link with Brazil will have great benefits to our country uh, as well. Um, Brazil has a lot of resources. We are their neighbors. We are. We have friendly relationship with Brazil, and I look forward to developing those relations to even improve them and strengthen them. I have no fear about a Brazilian overwhelming Guyana and 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 we losing our identity. I, I think that would be that would be a very bad position to take. I think it's great. I think it would develop another line of tourism. Yes. I can't wait to come to Guyana and be able to just drive over there. Well, you can though. I mean, the dry weather, you can drive to let them in about 10 hours. Um, now, it's, the road might not be in the best of conditions, it probably take you a little longer. But when you get to let them, you can just go into a taxi and go all the way to Bovista. Okay. You know, we have, um, we Guyanese can go to up to Bovista without a visa. and. Brazilians can come up to Anai mm -hmm. without a visa and stay for about 30 days and so forth okay. on both sides. That's the agreement we have with them. Speaking of tourism, what is the one place you would advise a Guyanese, an American, anyone, that when they come to Guyana, they should visit there, including the people that live right here uh, in Guyana? The places that are most beautiful in the country are the places that are, are very inaccessible in some ways and they don't have a lot of good infrastructure. Okay. Like in Region 7, the Upper Mazaroni, the, the mountains there and so forth, the Roraima Mountains and that mm -hmm. area, huge forests, um, just fascinatingly beautiful. And the Region 8 where you have the Kaicho area, those areas are well, they are now developing more and more infrastructure there uh, in the Kaicho area. It's also a very, very beautiful part of the country. Not only the Kaicho Falls, but the mountains, the forests, the, the scenery, they're spectacular. Um, but every area in our country has its own beauty. The northwestern part of the country, quite hilly, quite beautiful. The savannas there are different from the savannas in the south water type of savannas. So I think that you can find beautiful spots in almost any part of the country that you, that you go to. And you don't even have to go very far out of Georgetown to find some beautiful areas that you can enjoy if you don't have the time to spend longer. But if you have the time to spend longer, go south. <laughs> Um, actually, last visit to Guyana a few months ago, I kept on reading in the tourism books about blue water. Blue water? Blue water. Okay. So I actually visited Linden for the very first time and I found blue green water. Absolutely excited about it. Okay. Even if you go to the Essequibo Coast and just go in a little bit, you have the Mainstay Lake, you have the Hot and Cool Lake, mm -hmm. um, you have some small, small and beautiful communities right there. You'll you enjoy it, right? beautiful places. And I have to admit, I recently picked up a travel magazine and I was thrilled to see that they actually featured Guyana, they featured Kaicho Falls. They actually even said um, it's a great destination to do a wedding. Yeah. And I was so pleased to see Guyana in a travel magazine. It is a beautiful, I mean, I think we have a fantastic tourist product. I've tell people that for too long, Guyana has probably been the best kept secret because the, the sceneries that we have in this country is breathtaking. I recently, not recently, two years ago, I did a trip on, the, um, on an ATV from Let Them 
all the way to a place they call Keto in the in Region 8. And doing meetings as we go along the area, because the villages are far apart. But the sceneries are breathtaking. Yeah, I, I comparable with anything in any other part of the world that you can see. Really, it's tough traveling because we don't have the, 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 the very good infrastructure. But the compensation is the, is the beauty of the surrounding. When thinking of shipping a barrel, box, or sending money back home, think of the name you can trust. Think Lapakan. Lapakan has been serving our community for over 25 years, and a significant portion of every dollar spent at Lapakan goes to work in our community here and back home. Together, we are making a difference. For your shipping and money transfer needs, call Lapakan. Lapakan, the name we can Mukhan trust. Thakar cared for the elderly in rural villages of India. His lifelong work caring for the elderly continues. The doctor realized that our Indian elders needed a place they can call home. A nursing home for our elders. Born out of this vision is an Indian nursing home in New York. In an Indian surrounding, our Indian elderly is among their own. They wake up to prayers in the temple. Indian food is served. Festivals are celebrated. Our elders are cared for by Indian nurses, serving our Indian community from Guyana, Trinidad, India, and more. I'm not inviting you as a, you can, you can admit your, your, your loved one in my nursing home. But whenever really you need me, Please call me and I definitely, I promise you, I take care of like my own parents. Elegant Floral Design. We can help you beautify your event. No occasion is too big or too small. We specialize in floral decor and party planning for every event. Please call 718-322-9786. Please use promo code LAKSHMI for a discount. Planning a trip from Guyana to the U.S. for business or pleasure? Fly with the EasyJet. Our 767 wide-body aircraft accommodates 220 passengers in style and comfort. With two suitcases at 60 pounds each and a carry-on at 22 pounds, shop more with an option of a third suitcase for as low as 50 U.S. Senior citizen discount from age 55. Introducing soon service to Trinidad and Toronto. For more info, contact your local travel agent or Munishwar's Travel. Call us on 227-699. To website ezjetgt.com. Easy Jet, we've made it even better for you. Fix